guys and happy spring. As you can see behind me, I've got all of our seed potatoes out and ready to go in the ground. We did our first planting of potatoes yesterday. We've got most of our seedlings started. We're on to starting the second round now. We have planted out a whole bunch of our spring crops and we have just been super, super busy tackling all sorts of projects and you know spring cleaning and all sorts of stuff. Which goes to explain why I think the last video that I posted on here, there was snow on the ground. But that is just the reality of how th busy things get on a homestead in the spring, uh, no matter how big or small. So today we're actually tackling a brand new project and I thought that it would be a fun one to share with you. So today what we are doing is, as you can see behind me there, that little red chicken coop in the corner, we have, um, we have five, laying hens. The sun is out now and they really want to free range and roam around the yard all day and just peck at the grass and eat bugs and weeds and everything. But the problem is that when they do that, they come right up to the door, they poop on our little mat there, um, they poop all over the rocks, which is incredibly difficult to get out. And our plan is to build a deck next year, but we also don't want them pooping all over that. And we also have outdoor furniture that we want to be able to enjoy once again, without the poop. So what we're doing today is we're actually building a chicken tractor. And when I say we, I mean my husband, let's be honest. So we've been talking about this for a while though. And so if you don't know what a chicken tractor is, it's basically just like a movable um, coop or kind of like a cage that you can put them in so that they can um, peck around at different areas of the grass and get the bugs from all different areas and weeds and everything. But we can also um, keep the things that we want protected protected from them. And so <laughs> Rye decided to tackle this project today. So what we did, well what he did before he makes noise again, as he just grabbed, I think all of the materials that we're using to make this are scrap stuff that we had yeah, on hand. Stuff we have laying around from previous projects. Yeah, so we haven't actually invested any money into this yet. We've kind of chosen a design based on the materials that we have. Um, now there are a bunch of different ways to make your chicken tractors. So we're doing an A-frame um, chicken tractor. So it's gonna be made out of lumber. Now if you're buying lumber new right now, it's really expensive. So luckily we do have some on hand. Um, but of course you can buy it new if you need to or use scrap materials. But so Rai's going to put together an A-frame chicken tractor and we're going to just have like what one nesting box and a yeah, roost. Yeah, maybe one or two. Yeah, a couple of things in there so they've got that in there so there's a little bit of a coop but they still are going to have their stationary coop there in the corner and then during the day while we would normally let them just free range around here we can just keep them in the chicken tractor and move them around so that they can graze on fresh areas. So you want to show us what you got going? Sure. Okay. So what we've done so far is just built a simple rectangular frame um, that's going to sort of make up the footprint of our um, of our tractor. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm I'm figuring out the peaks. So I'm uh, going to have this guy standing up with um, with an A-frame roof line. So basically, it's going to be running. This is my one finished piece, and then I'm going to use that as to replicate that over and over again. Um, so that's basically going to be the height of it. So, you know, it's tall enough that we can crouch and go into it if we have to get at them or anything like that, but it's not so big that it's really intrusive in the yard. And then on the back side over here, uh, this kind of area where we'll have the wheels on either one wheel on either side so that we can pick it up and roll it around. Um, I'm going to do this as a covered um, sort of coop area, um, which will have a little bit of a raised platform with a couple of nesting boxes um, and, you know, some food and water or whatever that they need that they're, when they're in there, um, and an access door on this side for us so that we can clean it out or get out eggs. And then I'm going to cover that section of it with this metal roofing that I have left over from previous jobs. Again, just scrap materials that we have laying all over the place. So it'll be a bit of a hodgepodge of things, for lack of a better term, once we are finished with it. Um, but it should look cute and it'll keep our chickens happy so they're not destroying our yard.
Okay, so we are on day two of our chicken tractor project. It helps if you assemble it in the correct order. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, progress is being made here. We've got the interior of the chicken tractor all done, the nesting box is in there, um, which means that now it is just time to build a little bit of a gate so chickens can get in and out, we can get in and out, and then start closing all this in with some chicken wire and putting the roof on. things about having a handyman husband first of all is he can build pretty much anything but also because he does this for work he also comes home with a lot of free uh, materials building materials and stuff so for example um, this roll of chicken wire right here which we're gonna use to wrap this chicken tractor was free um, is this extra material left over from a job that he did and ended up with this entire roll of chicken wire which we of course are gonna find lots of uses for around our little homestead whether we are building a chicken tractor or we are doing some sort of a trellis, right? Um, having chicken wire or cattle panel or anything like that around fencing gardens like behind me, always useful to have around here. So that's what we're gonna be using today for the chicken tractor. So that's another um, free kind of material that we're using to put this all together. Roofing is all on, the roof cap is on, so this covered area is going to be protected from the rain and sun, which is great. Um, all we've got left now is to uh, put the wheels on this side so that we can tip and roll it around and to staple the wire on on all the other open spots and this thing is ready to go. stretch so everything's done except for the wire Okay, so our chicken tractor is finally complete. Mm -hmm. um, so it took about, what, two and a half days all in, I think? Yeah, probably two full days. Finish. Yep. And what did we spend? So because we had a ton of scrap materials laying around the property, we don't generally throw things away that are useful. Um, all we had to buy was the wheels and a couple of big bolts to attach them. So it was like $30. Um, and in all honesty, if you... If we'd had some scrap bicycle wheels or something lying around, it could have been free. So we'll do a quick walkthrough, show you, um, just do a, kind of a, a rundown on what we used, the building materials that we used and where we got them um, and how it was put together. And then we will uh, get those chickens in there. Why? So first off, um, I, I looked at a whole bunch of different examples online. Um, this A-frame style is really simple, didn't need a ton of materials. Um, and you know, creates a bit of more height without having to have this big box that takes up a ton of space. So that's why I chose to build it in that shape. Um, we built this 
honestly, the size was based on what materials we had laying around to give them as much space as we possibly could. So most of the pieces of lumber that we had, um, the, the full size pieces were eight foot long. So we went eight feet long with the, the actual length of it. Um, and then the width of it, I based on being able to fit it in between um, a couple of things in our backyard. So in between our patio and the edge of the yard or our woodshed. Um, so it's just over six feet wide because that's as wide as we could go. Um, so that gives us a decent amount of space for them. That's, um, what is that? that's 32 square feet. And they say that you should give four square feet per chicken. So um, with our five chickens, that's plenty of space for them to peck around for a few hours. So I had these roofing panels left over from a job site um, that, uh, you know, were kind of exactly the size that you see them. I didn't cut them down or anything. So I use those as my basis for how tall and how wide I made this uh, little nesting box structure inside so that they can have a covered area where if they get out early enough in the morning that they haven't all finished um, laying for the day, there's a nesting box inside um, with an access door on the backside for us to get at it. Um, so the tin roofing, um, I pulled off a job site, uh, same thing with the little roof cap that's on it. So. I mean, really lucky to have that kind of stuff um, available to us. Um, and then all of the lumber is just material that is either left over from previous projects on our property or, you know, small bits of scrap material that I brought home from job sites. The, um, the bigger pieces were actually from the legs that we used to put up our tomato structures last year in the garden. We've got like a roosting bar in here for them so that they've got something to hang out on that's off the ground. The little ramp that's inside I built just out of scrap materials again. I had a, a board laying around that uh, that worked well for it and I had all these little pieces that I just cut into strips and I screwed down onto it to give them some treads to walk on. Uh, the wire is, um, is actually from a, a large cat shelter that I built for somebody. It was a leftover uh, roll from that and it's actually stucco mesh. The reason why I use this stuff is because it has to go underneath stucco, it doesn't corrode. Like it tends to be a little bit better galvanizing than the fencing material is, so it won't rust on us. Uh, whereas some of the fencing material is actually more expensive, uh, but it rusts really bad. So I find this works really good um, and it's affordable. And then inside the nesting box is just made up of uh, little pieces of scrap lumber and extra pieces of plywood from lining the inside of the box and putting the little deck in for them to walk on. And then if you want to come around the other side, um, I had some cedar siding left over from building a backyard office for somebody. Um, so it made it really cute on this side to build a little cedar wall to kind of finish the exterior of it. And then this door right here, um, along with the latch and the hinges, was actually the door that we used on the chicken coop when we first built it, um, which we then replaced with an automatic door. So I had this ready to go. I just cut this hole based on this door that I had laying around, knowing that I might use it for something else someday. So then um, I left this in open space down below to allow airflow through for these guys so they can see everything. Um, you can see I built these kind of heavy duty legs for the wheels. Um, that's because all of the weight of this thing is going to be resting on this. So I've reinforced it in three different spots. All of the weight gets transferred up into the frame of this thing when you lift it up, mm -hmm. um, which will prevent it from the wheels from basically breaking off. Um, so it was a lot of kind of just flying by the seat of my pants as I put it together and knowing what I wanted it to look like and using what I had. The most important thing was that as I built it, I was adding reinforcement into it because we need to be able to move it. So bracing, like I said, on the legs here and the same thing inside in every corner, I've got a little piece of uh, angle cut lumber that is screwed into the corners to keep this thing rigid so that we can move it around. So there's little bits of reinforcement kind of everywhere to make sure that it doesn't fall apart as we move it. The last thing that I put on here was the handles. So right here, um, again, reinforced to the frame so that it's easy to just pick this guy up and roll it around. And actually, I think we're gonna get these guys in here. So I'm just gonna turn this a little bit into a spot where we're gonna leave it for the day. I think right about here is probably pretty good. And uh, I think we're gonna get them in there, right? Moment of truth, let's yeah. do it. Grab a handful of food before it's in there. Hey, ladies, come on. 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 Come on
like awesome. a charm, eh? That's great. Okay, so there you have it. Latest project, chicken tractor yeah. complete. <laughs> so it's always really nice to be able to knock off another homestead project because this is one that we've been thinking about doing for quite a while now. Have, yeah. um, and since we are hoping to maybe do a deck this year, we really wanted to make sure that we got the chicken tractor done before that, because otherwise we'd end up having poop all over our deck. Everywhere. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> behind us, you can see our uh, like our patio furniture there. And that was really the catalyst this year is we really did not want chicken poop all over that. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. They all uh, seem to love the chicken tractor. We can move it around every day so that they can graze on a fresh piece of pasture. In our case, it's yeah. hardly pasture. It's just a little bit of lawn in our backyard. But that is good enough for them. They can graze on a new patch every day and snag whatever bugs are in there and whatever greens are growing. Um, and then the next day, we just move it to a new spot and then they can graze on that. So win-win for everybody. Definitely. Awesome. So that's it for this video. If you like it, make sure to hit like and subscribe below so you never miss an update from the house and homestead. Bye for now.